Hi everyone, my name is Raziel Kane and I'm back with another Arcade's voice acting. It's time for another medley. This time for the men of the Transformers that I can't do a full spotlight on. Not because they don't deserve it. Everyone in the G1 cast deserves one. But the truth is, some of these actors are digital ghosts. By ghosts I mean that they either predate the internet or that they didn't do that much interviews. So it's hard to find anything other than a birthday. So after falling short on a few actors, I just piled them up and came up with this. I hope you like it. And I want to apologize to anyone who would have preferred a full coverage on these actors. If you happen to know an interesting fact about these legends, please mention it in the comments. For myself, the hardest part is deciding who to cover. There are over 260 character roles credited for the Transformers show. It's a lot and I can't cover them all. Some change careers, some focus on other areas of entertainment, some disappeared. I hope I won't offend anyone by not covering a certain actor. Let's get started. First, Stan Jones. Born on October 23, 1926, Stan Jones was a Canadian actor from Toronto, Ontario. Playing in 30 series and 8 films, he did mostly voice acting and is remembered for his portrayal of Lex Luthor in various iterations of the Super Friends. Three characters in 1991 Spider-Man, three different ones in Spider-Man and his amazing friends, the leader on The Incredible Hulk, and a few others. But in the Transformers community, he's known for his great performance as Scourge, the Thundercracker remote from the 1986 movie. The Autobots have been terminated! Of course, he reprised the role in Season 3. It's a trap! But in Season 4, he added Misfire, Weird Wolf, Pounce, and Lord Zarek. Ah, but this development could be most useful to us. Stan Jones passed away on December 30th, 1998. Next is Ken Sampson. Born on April 27, 1927, Ken enrolled in the United States Navy after high school and participated in World War II. After the war, he graduated from Brigham Young University with a bachelor's degree in radio broadcasting, but was recalled into service during the Korean War. A member of the United Service Organizations, he provided entertainment for the troops while in Korea. Afterwards, his radio career started in Los Angeles with his show Samson and Densum, but eventually he went into acting. He's credited for 150 roles on IMDb. He guest starred in TV classics such as The Brady Bunch, Columbo, and Eight is Enough. To the Transformers fans, he will always be remembered as Hound of the Autobots, a crucial character in season one and two who didn't do much in the movie and was never seen again. Just turn me loose, Prime, I'll sniff him out. But Ken is recognized around the world for his portrayal of a rabbit in various Winnie the Pooh TV shows, movies, and commercials from 1988 to 2012. Ken passed away on October 8, 2012. Third on the list is Arthur Burgart. Born on January 1, 1947 in New York, that's all I got on this man, other than his roles. Which are amazing, he voiced some of the greatest characters of our childhood. For instance, he's the one and only Devastator from the Transformers cartoon. Prepare to meet your doom. Nothing can withstand the might of Devastator. And the movie. Prepare for extermination. But he was Destro in the G.I. Joe cartoon and movie. Success? You dare speak to me of success? You psychotic, sibilant servant of adult! And the voice of Turbo and Copter in both Challenge of the Gobots and Battle of the Rock Lords. You also heard him in Robotics, Sectors, The Real Ghostbusters, Conan the Adventurer, and he voiced Pete in various Disney video games. And a lot of people know him from voicing Venom in the Ultimate Spider-Man video game. But I know him from Warcraft 3 Reign of Chaos as both Grom Elscream and Manorot, reprising the latter in World of Warcraft Cataclysm. And finally, he was the narrator in Baldur's Gate Tales of the Sword Coast. Arthur retired from acting in 2010. Following him is Hal Rail. Born January 4, 1955, he graduated from Ball State University in 1977 in telecommunication and is an Emmy nominated voice actor. He is best known for voicing the Dinobot Snarl. <laughs> Stupid Decepticon Rhino, make fun of our leader! The Insecticon Shrapnel. Food approaches. approaches. The Minibot Pipes. Beats me. Nuts and bolts, I understand. Theoretical physics? No. And of course, a sweep, like everyone else. Long live Galvatron! But he's also known for his contribution to G.I. Joe, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Back to the Future, the Pink Panther reboot, 
and recreating the voice of the Predator in Predator 2. You could also have heard him in Batman the Animated Series, Tailspin or Ghoulies 2. Him and his wife own and operate a voiceover studio, Audio r and in California. Up next is the voice of a fan favorite, Blaster, and he's voiced by Buster Jones. Born January 7, 1943, Buster is also a digital phantom. As I said, he voiced the iconic Blaster, one of the few characters introduced in Season 2. I've been waiting a long time for this, you poor excuse for a sound system. To be featured in the movie. Alright, cover your receptors, Perceptor. survived it and went to play in season three. Wow, is that a wrap or will he be back? Buster did work on other classic characters such as Black Vulcan in five version of the Super Friends and Joe Robbie Robertson in Spider-Man. You also heard him in G.I. Joe as Doc and Zap and 42 characters on the real Ghostbusters, including reprising the role of Winston from Arsenio Hall in season four and the spin-off Slimer. He also played in Batman the Animated Series, The New Batman Adventures, and reprised Winston in Extreme Ghostbusters. Buster Jones passed away on September 15, 2014. The list of voice work for the next actor is three roles. Meet Bud Davis, a stuntman who tried his hand at acting as well. Born on December 23, 1936, Bud is well known for his stunts, filling the roles of stuntman and coordinator on various occasions. But he's also credited for 25 acting roles, which three of those were for the Transformers, giving life to the idiot Dirge. Death comes to he who crosses me. The Titan Metroplex. Says Metroplex! And the brutal Predaking. Tornadron! Face Predaking! One special mention will go to Roger Carmel, the iconic Harry Mudd from Star Trek. This marvelous actor had very few roles in TVs and movies because of a falling out with NBC's Dizzy Arnaz production sitcom The Mothers-in-Law, refusing to forego a contractual raise for season two. Said contract was terminated and his career suffered for it, which I find inconceivable because I'm absolutely biased because of his portrayal of Harry Mudd. In The Transformers, you heard him seven times. He portrayed the King of the Road Motormaster. So you think Starscream's gonna stop here? The Combiner's Menasaur. <laughs> And Bruticus. Bruticus devastate, devastator. A Quintesson judge. The answer he suppresses is that Cybertron is not vulnerable to conventional attack. And El Presidente. There is no need for formality. I am honored by your coming. What can I do for you? He also voiced Cyclonus in both the movie. You want me to gut Ultra Magnus? End the show. Back off, Scourge. We don't have time to play around. He's all mine. Plus, he reprised the voice of Unicron from Orson Welles in Season 3 as well. Yes, Unicron can grant your request. And I want to end this little medley with Stephen Keener, who recently passed away. He was a classically trained actor who never did TV or movies, except for the Transformers, where he did the voice of Technobot Scattershot. No way! You built us! You're a genius, Grimlock! We can't survive without you! Terracon Hunger. Terracon fight everybody! <laughs> Headmaster's Hardhead. So? What's that prove? And Mind Wipe. Your circuits are under my power light speed. And both Titans Carponok. <laughs> Fortress Maximus. Decepticons, prepare to face Fortress Maximus. His on stage career must have been impressive because he was much loved by his co workers. This will be the end of the medley. Who knows, I might do another one in the future. It's fun to change the pace once in a while. Do something different. I hope you've enjoyed this collage of actors who voice some of your favorite characters. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also, leave a comment. I really like reading you guys. Keep coming back, I have more on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care!